so now I'm recording again, <laughs> and this time I have uh, I have sneakily made two separate files of the discussions that we had because reasons because because the f other files got corrupted. Mm -hmm. Okay, do carry on. What were we talking about? Uh, well, prior to the correction, <laughs> the remakening, let's call it, of the <laughs> information. Remakening! <laughs> Recording take two, electric boogaloo. Um, yeah, so, uh, I was talking about taking flight, uh, and I wanted to discuss the destiny thing, mm -hmm. because destiny is also another victim of fluff, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I I extended her story to give Corey and Trouble enough time to repair the Alexis and and jump through a few or not jump. Let's not use the word jump. That's a terrible word. They <laughs> travelled to other systems. Um, uh, uh, but the okay. So her 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 point is she and Risto she she escapes and it ends up on our chaos, right? Mm -hmm. And she meets Risto... Okay, no, actually, go back a couple of seconds. She she ends up in a bar on our chaos, and someone approaches her because she's a reclaimer. Like, it's very obvious she's a reclaimer, and uh, they want to hire her for some work. She is told to go somewhere in the morning if she's interested in the job, and she does so, and at that point, she meets Risto. Mm -hmm. And all the other sort of people that they've hired for the job are kind of shady fucks, and they're not really too keen on the idea of this new unknown person and all this and that. Turns out later on, uh, only Risto and Destiny were loyal, or not even loyal, but they weren't in on the idea that this group were going to steal the convoy instead of protect it, sort of deal. Mm. So they get up in a big fight, and Destiny and Risto escape despite their best efforts to try and retake the convoy. And they escape in a vehicle, and Zhao tells them, well, okay, you've got to come and see me now. So they travel to... They take the car, land car, actually. <laughs> so they go to Zhao, and that's where the Alexis... They're paired up with the Alexis crew to go get this stuff back. And the stuff that was on the convoy is like cryo tanks or whatever, or stasis tanks that Servo was transporting somewhere. So, that was the original story. Mm -hmm. Okay. But all I have to work out now is how Destiny escapes. How does Destiny get from a planet that... Uh, Rayek, in this instance, that's pretty much surrounded by the city fleet, and she is in a shuttle that has always been, in my mind, very difficult to get to the pilot, right? You can't just... Like, there'll be two different sections. The pilot will be one section and the passenger carry place will be in another section off from the other one I, I don't know why that is it feels a bit like a prison transport you know like secure prison transport right? you go between the surface and the city fleet so how does she escape man how does she get to our chaos that's something I need to work out uh, is she piloting the shuttle no no she gets so when oh, okay. After her blessing, I've called it ascension trial in the thing. It's a nice term. I, I we might not hang on to it, but I like the term. It's a nice author term. Yeah, like level up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Your A levels, <laughs> gaining your levels. Uh, so, <clears throat> so basically, uh, the 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 ones who go through the trial are brought down, or like they they are dropped on the surface by somebody else and then if they complete the trial then they will be picked up again yep okay yep. that's um, how I've always seen it I mean it's always something uh, to change and what are Destiny's uh, special abilities oh uh, Destiny is focused on things like um, so shock, shock uh, one of her abilities is shockwave and that allows her to push groups of people away from her and things like that so she can summon energy and boom and scatter everybody basically she uh, okay so 
Rogue is focused on shielding. Luna's skill focus is on healing. And Destiny's is sort of like dealing with, you know, gangs and small groups of people. Um, that's how I've always seen it. I haven't really sat down and thought about Destiny's abilities directly. And actually, her abilities come more into focus later on after she gets some equipment off Zhao. Um, I... So, what if... Like, her abilities have, have just been activated, mm -hmm. and uh, she doesn't fully control herself yet, but what if she tries to tamper with the, uh, with the shuttle or, or its crew? This is potentially good. It, it means so that she'd like... have to escape in the shuttle though, right? Well, well, yeah, like, uh, either she would have to be able to pilot it, so that she will never, uh, she will never reach. Uh, so that the shuttle will never drop her off where where it was supposed to. Or it's like if this was, if this was a prison bus on the land, then the obvious solution would be to crash the bus. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hmm. But in in this case. Uh, like she, she can't crash the shuttle just yet because the shuttle will have to, uh, will have to take her away from Ryak itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, or or like the, the shuttle will have to. Uh, oh, of course, if she's picked up, and she will immediately turn her new, uh, newly awakened abilities against. Uh, uh, against uh, the shuttle's crew, whatever they're doing, before they have even taken off, and then she leaves them behind, takes the shuttle to herself, and flies away. And uh, of course, there would be some sort of perimeter warning that uh, that the course is all wrong, etc., etc., etc. So there would be some complications and interference, but she would fly the, the shuttle herself by this point. Mm -hmm. And then she escapes to our chaos. I like it. Originally, and heh, this is pretty dumb, she, uh, she waited, she bided her time, right? And she allowed the shuttle to take her back to the city fleet and she got taken on her first mission. And while she was on her first mission, it was like the quote unquote resource wars on Kaiser or some shit, mm -hmm. right? And uh, A, that doesn't work out for a number of logistical reasons. Like, mm -hmm. you can't really go straight from Kaiser to our chaos. It, like, it doesn't really... Uh, uh, never mind. But basically, <laughs> she, she ended up in the resource... This is all old material. I should mm -hmm. preface this by saying this is all incredibly old material mm -hmm. before, l before you turned up and made everything make sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if, if you if you throw around the term like resource wars, I already know that this is not viable material. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but she ends up on on a, on a, on in a fight, and she's the last survivor of that fight, and she then takes herself off. She manages to find a med kit. And she tosses the remnants to a, a, a guy from our chaos who's also barely managed to survive. It doesn't look like he's going to make it. And she escapes and finds a facility. She takes everybody out, ends up in the shuttle heavily wounded, and then takes off for wherever. Mm -hmm. And reclaimers track her down to her next spot. And in the dumbest move ever... Actually, uh, the one thing that did come out of this is Destiny used to have a shield ability. Destiny doesn't have that anymore. That went over to Rogue. And she used that shield ability to drop a grenade. This is the dumbest thing. Please don't hate me for this. She hid in the water tank for the shower, dropped a grenade between the shower and the bulkhead, and the water tank shot out as the grenade exploded and also took out all the reclaimers that were pursuing her while she was shielded up and sort of like, you know, sent her flying into the woods. At which point, I don't know what happens. I think the story ended there. <laughs> uh, she ended up with Restore on our chaos. But it, oh man, we can't do that. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, Des Destiny used to have a whole myriad of abilities. I think Mind Spike was one of hers. Shield was one of hers. 
the energy throw, I think, was another one. And all of that went over to Rogue because oh, okay. Rogue yeah, really needed. Yeah, so, so basically, I think, like, point one, tune down everybody's abilities and also <laughs> make them vaguer so that they are not like lightning bolt lightning bolt lightning bolt so it's 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 less so that it le it reads less than a spell and more like a specialization of what you can what you can uh, sort of what you have practiced mhm mm oh hang on a oh, sec uh, yeah yes please thank you a cup of tea on. Oh, and this, this uh, I think we have discussed something similar before, but uh, basically, uh, I think uh, make the this make make the statement of this reclaimer has such and such abilities. Make it about practice and and school of like basically, it's it's a dojo thing. It's not it's not that they are naturally like it's not that I gain this perk and this is inherently the perk that I have it's more like I choose to specialize on this thing and I hone this skill so that I am really good at this one thing but that doesn't mean that uh, it doesn't preclude any any other uh, possible uses for my skill mm -hmm. so so make it a little bit more uh, muddled a little bit more messy and uh, and maybe even don't uh, name the abilities to oh. <laughs> uh, yeah because that's 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 where it that's where it comes very very gamified it's like it's exactly the lightning bolt so instead of saying the ability oh well we're not okay I need Make the abilities more subtle, make them less, like, explicit. And also, instead of saying, that's a mind spike, just describe what it does, don't yeah, say... Yeah, exactly. So, if you stick with what it does, rather than, this is my thunder! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah, focus, uh, try, try to think more in terms of what it does, and, and also try to go more with, uh, she can do this thing because she has practiced this thing the most uh, and okay uh, she can be more talented in in this one particular uh, skill or this one particular uh, method but that it doesn't mean that she's completely devoid of any other uses of uh, of this uh, uh, eerie interdimensional doodad uh, power but mm -hmm. uh, it's just that she has uh, she has specialized on this this one thing. Pardon me. Uh, the way I tackled it with Luna and Rogue is that they do a lot of meditation and training, like that's their thing to work up their abilities and that kind of thing. Yeah, but why wouldn't everybody do that? Like. Uh, Okay, so this is well, where they can, they can, but I was just focusing on Luna and Rogue for the t like because they're the ones I've got the most experience mm. with. Yeah. So okay, again, this is uh, this is very much my head canon, but if I go with the assumption that the whole uh, reclaimer thing uh, grew out of something simi some similar biotech. Uh, uh, quantum doodad as the Cindisa. It's just that it was it was a it was an older thing, some ex some experimental doodad that sort of uh, stuck with the humans who experimented with it, and uh, and uh, it does it does give people or like it's almost like uh, the. The technology blended with their DNA, so now they they are basically meta humans, uh, or like they they are a little bit new breed. Uh, but uh, I forgot where I was where I was going with this. But ah oh yeah, but but basically, 
the whole human plus thing would be that the well it's, it's, it's basically like like uh, like the airbender and and etc sort of thing so so basically the the reality bending uh, ability abilities for a lack of better term uh, they would be still linked to what normal humans can do so they would be still linked to normal human uh, brain workings and psychology and they would they would still be like like okay you have you have this uh, you have certain ability that uh, that is the result of how your biology functions but to, to be able to do something with it you will have to turn it into a skill so it's so basically what I'm trying to get get at is that in your own material uh, it reads very much as okay she's a reclaimer she's being granted this perk that is called the epic thunderbolt <laughs> <laughs> and she is the person who does the epic thunderbolt all the time and nothing else and and i don't like that one bit so okay. if you if you want to if you want to if you want to make it a more sort of uh i wouldn't say realistic but more believable system and if you want to sort of um, make it so that there is a consistent basis to it then then yes on one hand don't treat these abilities as perks treat them as uh treat them as a sort of layer of abilities that everybody sort of gets except somebody is maybe more more talented in one area than the other so so treat treat them the same way as as creative talents somebody can draw better somebody can uh, somebody has better musical hearing but that alone doesn't uh, make you a composer or an artist. You will also have to practice that skill. We have had we have, we have had that exact conversation. I remember now. One of my favourite moments in Estonia was when we sat in the in your back garden <laughs> before I had to set out for Latvia, and we discussed how rec <laughs> reclaim is like art, right? I think the the word you used was art. Like, so you can teach yeah. someone a certain style but then they put their own individual flair on yeah, it yeah yeah exactly so so if you if you think of each reclaimer ability as uh, as an artistic uh, uh, theme so you have you have reclaimers who are the artsy types you have those who are maybe better at quote, uh, better at coding some are better at uh, visualizing some are better at uh, at uh, audio so if you if you try to imagine all of those abilities as as real creative uh, talents that that normal people have, uh, and also describe them in in those terms and and sort of think of think of practicing them in in same terms, that might help to sort of get a better grasp. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for example, uh, I I have certain visual talent or, or certain uh, certain uh, talent in drawing but because I don't practice it very much I'm, I'm not much of an artist at the same time I had uh, quite moderate uh, writing uh, abilities but because I keep using it all the time I have become quite an expert in certain writing things Etc. 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 So, so the same. So, if you if you treat the reclaimers the same way, and uh, and acknowledge that uh, that for any of them to be able to use any uh, any reclaimership, they would have to, or like, for any of them to be able to use any of of reclaimership well and effectively they would have to uh, they would have to practice it and hone it and use it etc 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 so like so it's it's not it's not about luna and rogue doing their meditation because it's them but it's about 
all of the reclaimers having to uh, having to do enormous practice to be able to do the reclaimer thing. Mm -hmm. Can you pause the OBS recording here, or save it, or yes, do something? Yes, that is. I was just thinking it an excellent suggestion.